Well, howdy. Welcome to the vlog. Today... Uh, let's see if we can get a better... So today I thought, uh, I have these pine cones sitting on my desk because they fall from our pine trees outside all the time. We use them in our fireplace. They are amazing fire starters. And I was just looking at the one on my desk and I thought, I wonder what else is interesting about these. Let's discover together the fascinating world of the pine cone. I was just setting up my uh, my shot here. I was gonna put a chair down. The chair didn't look outdoorsy enough. I'm gonna go with like a, like a piece of wood. Hmm. Hmm. I spent all that time setting up my shot over there, but our neighbors, he's like right over there, and he's outside. Makes me a little uncomfortable. But I brought my pine cone. Hi. There everywhere, especially this time of year. Growing up around here, we use these for golf. We come out here with our, our golf clubs. It was really our golf club and then a broom handle, and we would just hit these as far as we could. Probably a lot of other creative uses for pine cones, but if you're a kid with a golf stick, you just hit them. Let's see if there's any interest, interesting facts. Not interesting, none of this is interesting. Everything I'm looking up about pine cones is so boring and uninteresting. I, I tried to find fun facts about pine cones. You wanna hear one of the fun facts? Pine cones only come from pine trees. Oh, it's fascinating. Okay, we're getting somewhere a little bit more interesting. A pine cone is actually an organ. It's an organ that contains the reproductive structures of a tree. The pine cones we're all familiar with are actually the female pine cones. The male pine cones are the ones that make you sneeze and have allergies, because they produce pollen. The main function of a pine cone is to keep a pine tree's seeds safe. It's probably why pine cones are so ridiculously sharp. Whew. Pine cones actually close their scales to protect the seeds from cold temperatures, wind, and even animals that might try to eat them. Once it warms up, the pine cones actually open, which makes it easier for the seeds to be released into the air. Okay, so let's learn together. I feel stupid now because I've grown up around pine cones and never really knew anything about them. When they drop, they, they look like this, you know? It's a typical kind of pine cone. They're super, super sharp. But once in a while, you'll get pine cones like this that drop. Sometimes they're even tighter than this, and it turns out when a pine cone is connected to the tree, it's the tree's protection against like its seeds, kind of against its babies. When it's really cold out and windy and like stormy and the tree wants to protect its seeds, it closes up like this. And then when it dries out a bit, the pine cones open up into this, which allows the little seeds inside the pine cone, these little fellows. You can see that inside there, is actually uh, the seeds of the pine tree. And I see these things fall all over the place up here all the time. My whole life I've seen them and I've never really thought about or took the time to realize that these are coming from the pine trees. Ow, they're so stinking sharp. You can kind of see way back in there, right down in there, that's the seed. And the seed comes with these little wings. I'll show you if I can find one that has them intact. This is kind of getting interesting. Okay. Ah, found some. Right here. There we go. Okay, this here is the seed of a pine cone. It's a pine cone seed. And they have this like wing on them. I mean, I'm no scientist, but in this wing, let's see if I can do it. I'm gonna drop it, see what it does. That didn't work at all and I lost, oh, I lost the seed. Oh, there's the pine cone seed I dropped. Right there. I am determined to show you how these things drop. Like it's kind of it's kind of cool. So I'm gonna start it up way high. Ugh. 
I'm gonna try to get like a slow motion shot of it. <laughs> Did you see it? I actually got a, I mean, it was blurry. It wasn't a good shot, but you got to see how the thing does like this helicopter propeller thing on its way down. And so the wind will catch these things and they blow all over the place. It's amazing how well they fly. Like they really, what is biting me? It is pretty amazing to see these things, like they're all over the place when they drop. And I just didn't realize that a pine cone is just like the protector of the seed. It turns out pine cones can stay in a pine tree for more than 10 years before they fall to the ground. It can sometimes take that long for the seeds to grow underneath the scales of a pine cone. Very fascinating. So it says part of the reason I'm, I'm like basically on the ground. I'm too tall for the camera angle. Oh gosh, I'm gonna fall over. Oh, part of the reason, hi. Part of the reason the pine cone seals up when it's like cold and wet and rainy and snowy is because the seeds won't grow then. And the reason they dry, I mean, this is, this is interesting. They like naturally, they dry out when the weather is nice out. Like after it rains, this in the outside of the pine cone kind of dries up, it opens up, the seeds drop, when it's the perfect time for the soil to be the most fertile for the seeds to grow. <sighs> I find that really interesting. Hmm. Even, even more interesting, I don't know if this is true, but it says that even after a pine cone falls to the ground, it will still close and open depending on the conditions. That's it. Well, that was so, so interesting. We learned some things about one just dropped. A pine cone just dropped. Did you hear it? Probably not. Anyways, that was uh, that wasn't a pine cone. Shh, it was for the video. Anyways, um, hopefully you enjoyed that. I'm gonna start doing more and more videos, I think, on uh, the interesting things that we find and take for granted up here in the mountains, I guess. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.